knew Carl was married, or engaged as the case was, from the first time I met him on the plane. But I was looking for a rebound from Robert, so I didn't really care. Ten years I gave Robert. Ten years. What a worthless piece of shit. Carl was nice, very nice. He'd buy me dinner, he'd call when he said he would, but eventually Carl admits to the fiance. I yelled at him for an hour, even though I always knew. But men are assholes and you have to let them know it when you have a good opportunity. Robert knows I'm single again within two days of me breaking with Carl. He knows this because he's evil and evil men have supernatural powers. He texts me how much he misses me. When I text back, are you ready to marry me? He tells me he has an erection. Men suck. I sleep with him that Sunday after he buys me dinner at Cheesecake Factory. When he doesn't call the next day, I decide to quit my job and move to Los Angeles. I get a new job at a firm in Santa Monica and find a place four blocks from the ocean. I flew Robert down last weekend, telling myself I just needed to see him one last time before I could really move on. After he left, I didn't hear from him for a week. Which was fine, because I was D-O-N-E, done. Robert called today, said he was back to town. I said I would only see him if we were getting married. And he said okay. I know I said he was a piece of shit, but now that he's committed to me, I know that he'll be better. There's a buzzing in my brain. The nurse tried to explain. She says it's from the current of electricity.